Hey everybody, David here, and today I am going to connect this iPod Shuffle, it's an iPod Shuffle, it does have the Apple logo on the back, this iPod Shuffle to that stereo, and we're just going to hook up all the wires and stuff. Now, as you all probably know, the iPod has a cable, or the, the Apple e the earbuds have a connector that looks like this. There's a tip a ring and a sleeve. Now, this is the cable that goes into the iPod and you can see I have a green cable on the other end, it's just the same thing. It's an audio cable, plain old audio cable. Now, unfortunately I can't just plug that directly into the stereo because the stereo uses um, RCA connectors which are kind of like these. You know, have you ever seen this kind of connector? It's usually um, on <laughs> used with DVD players and stuff. So. I have this pair of cables, red and white, left is white and right is red, connected to the back of the stereo. And we need to get signal from this cable to these cables to let music flow from, flow from the iPod to the stereo. So the first order of business uh, is just to plug this end of the cable into the iPod. Okay, just plug into the top there. That's iPod Shuffle. Good. Alright, that's done. Now, um, here's where some electrical stuff has to be explained. The bottom of the TSR, the TRS plug, sorry, TRS, um, is the ground, the ring is the right channel, and the tip is the left channel. Now with these cables, as I said earlier, left is white and red is uh, right. Did I say left is white? Left is white. Red is right. There we go. Okay. And what happens is the uh, the little thing that sticks out in the middle. That's what I. That's I've heard that called the signal pin. And uh, the outer rings are called grounding rings because they uh, they provide the electrical ground. Now, in case you don't know, to complete an electrical circuit, you need a you need a you need to have a source and then you need to also ground the circuit. It's kind of complicated. I'm not going to explain it here, but here's what we need to do. We're going to connect the ground of the TSR, I uh, TRS, I keep saying TSR because I've, you know, the TSA, but anyway. Oh, hey diamond. Anyway, um, I'm going to connect the ground of the TRS cable to the ground of the RCA cables. Now, I've already done that with a bit of aluminum foil, you know, aluminum foil that we, oh, that's not, Wegmans is not a sponsor, although it would be nice if they were. Um, so ground to ground. Now, I had to connect the grounds on both cables to the single ground on the TR, uh, the TRS cable, so that's done. I would have done that in front uh, with the camera, but the aluminum foil takes a really long time, uh, so I did that before st starting to shoot the video. As you can see, I held the aluminum uh, foil in place with a bit of scotch tape. No electrical tape needed, just plain old scotch tape. Now, now we have to connect the tip w of the TRS, which is the left, to the pin on the white cable, and the ring to the red cable. Now, you can also do that with aluminum foil, but just be because I have alligator clips, um, they're called alligator clips because they open up like like alligators, you know. Um, um, um. Yeah, they're called alligator clips, so I'm just going to use those. Um, Alright, so let's see about this. Uh huh. I'm going to connect the right channels first because it's easier to access before you put on the tip, so I'm just going to connect the red wire to the white. The colors doesn't really matter, it's just easier to... Okay, and now for the RCA connector. Okay, let me just put that in there. Yep, there we go. And now the green cable. Alright, 
and I'm just gonna connect the other end to the tip of the TSR cable. If I had a camera man, this video would be a little better, but unfortunately, I'm working solo, so. There we go. Oh, oh, no, didn't go in. Hold on. There we go. Look, uh, the tip is irregularly shaped, so it's kind of difficult. Alright. There we go. Make sure that the terminals don't touch each other. There's a little black line on the T TRS cable separating all the terminals. Make sure that your the cables don't touch each other because then the electricity will flow across. And yeah, okay. Let me actually adjust the red cable a bit because I think it's touching the tip. Yep. Okay. All right. We are all set now. It's we've got the ground ground to ground, left to left, and right to right. So. Let's just power on the stereo. And I already have it set to the auxiliary input, which is in the back. And yeah, let's. Ooh, you sometimes get that. Careful. That's the. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna. You sometimes get that buzzing sound. It'll go away once I put the iPod back down. Alright, just turned the iPod on. And see, the buzzing sound went away. Alright, so there you have it. We connected the TRS cable to the RCA cable um, with just a few pieces of aluminum foil. And in my case, I used alligator clips, but you don't have to do that, remember. Uh, yeah, we don't need to buy a converter. This does the trick. And plus, it's more fun as well. Alright, thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you next time. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And, yeah, that's it. Bye.